Start with some news inputs that have just come in from Jammu and Kashmir, where the police claim to have just shot down a drone in the Akhnur area. And it's also being reported that about five kilograms of IED has also been recovered. While the investigation is still on, the police suspect that terrorists were supposed to assemble the IED for an attack on the Indian side of the border. Now, agencies are currently probing where the Lashkar e Taiba is in fact behind this latest drone activity as the terror outfit has used this modus operandi for attacks in the past as well. Now remember, this is not the first time that a drone has been spotted in Jammu or near the international border along with Pakistan. Just last month, the Jammu airbase had been targeted with twin blasts. Many drones were also spotted around the same time at multiple locations in Jammu. The latest activity also raises a fresh threat of the possibility of a further drone attack, which is what the security personnel in Jammu and Kashmir are keeping themselves prepared for. Now, amidst the heightened drone activity, Jammu and Kashmir's DGP has also recently directed the officers to remain extra alert as terror outfits are continuously trying to use drones and other technologies to further their terror activities. All right, now to give us more insights in terms of what exactly has happened, we, have, we are joined by our correspondent Idris Loan, who is joining us live from Srinagar. Good morning to you, Idris. You know, bring us up to speed with what exactly has happened, how sophisticated is this drone, and what was it exactly carrying? Well, yeah, it definitely is a big success for the security forces in Jammu region. Uh, at about 12 o'clock uh, in the midnight, uh, the Jammu and Kashmir police detected a drone on uh, close to Aknur sector, which is very close to the line of control. Uh, they shot it down, and after sh shooting it down, uh, they saw that the six uh, out of six were uh, there. In total, there are six wings, out of which five wings had a one kg. Uh, IED uh, attached to it uh, and it could have caused a major damage if it was used for an attack but mostly what we've seen uh, in the past also is that these drones basically uh, drop these IEDs across the border which are then later on uh, being used uh, by the militant groups across Jammu and Kashmir. In this incident what we have is that there was light in the sky because drones have already been banned across Jammu and Kashmir uh, and that was the reason that Jammu and Kashmir police detected it and shot it down. In the previous uh, weeks, we've seen more than a dozen uh, such incidents happening wherein BSF did try to shot down uh, a, a drone earlier also, but that flew back uh, across the border uh, at that time as well. Uh, so now the whole Jammu and Kashmir police are already on high alert uh, after the drone incident, the drone a track that uh, took place on June 28th on Air Force Station. Uh, after that, we've seen that uh, the security has been put on high alert and drone activities. Uh, <clears throat> Sorry, especially the private drone activities across Jammu and Kashmir have uh, completely been banned. And after that, uh, uh, we've also been told that the security outside the Air Force Station in Jammu was beefed up and there was a radar system which was built up uh, in that Air Force Station uh, to tackle such incidents. Uh, in the initial investigation, what we are told is that lashkar e Toiba could be behind these uh, drone attacks and a more uh, investigation is to be done whether uh, it is the military group uh, which is being held from across the border absolutely indeed now these these are still first few initial hours since since this drone has in fact been captured by the indian security forces uh, the question that i want to ask you this is have has the security establishment said anything at all about you know who could have manufactured this drone it is most likely to have come from across the border but at this point of time which country may have manufactured this drone any information on that front well, officially, there is no information as of yet because uh, Jammu and Kashmir police uh, uh, recovered this drone at 12 o'clock in the night, after which the first and uh, foremost thing was to detonate uh, the IED, the explosive which was attached to it. And after that, now the investigation has been started whether uh, the drone came from across the border, uh, who made the drone and uh, was this a militant attack or was it carried by uh, 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 from people or the army across the border, from a uh, uh, Pakistani army from across the border? So that angle is yet to be seen because uh, police is completely tight lipped. We've seen in the previous case of June 28th also that uh, Jammu and Kashmir police, NIA, they haven't really given out any official statements as of uh, whether the drones were made uh, from another country uh, and m not much information has been given to media as of now.
All right, we'll have to leave it there. Thank you very much indeed, Idris Lund, for joining us and getting us all those updates there.